Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna do Windows 11 background, but in night mode. It wasn't planned, but since you liked the first video, I realized I didn't tell you everything. And I made the second part where I expand on how to use a simulation like a turbulence. I am also gonna include all the project file on my game road, but let's do this. <laughs> Hey, Windows 11 background part two. So uh, since you really like it, I'm going to show you a couple more techniques that I've discovered along the way while I was playing with it. So uh, I'm going to also include them as a project files on my Gumroad so you can uh, download them for free. And I mean, you give me your email, so it's not so free. I'm going to start with quickly uh, putting our background. Uh, you know how to create these for sure now. Are we, we're going to put in our most line. Our most plane is N, and we need to go to the simple tab and put angle P as a 90, right? So now it's standing right up. And the other thing we want is to uh, create our shape. We do our disk shape, and we don't have to stretch it this time. I'm just going to increase disk segments and maybe rotation segments. So you have kind of a nice mesh and we spline wrap it around gonna spline wrap around our most spline. So now it's standing right up because it's spline wrap around most spline. And what we can do now is to I'll G that and put it inside the cloner and the cloner it's good because it's creating um, every clone has its own ID and we can then uh, make it a uh, unique color. So I'm just going to put the count of three. Let's do the linear. Uh, oh, I put radial. A linear and we're going to do, do Z depth. So Z. 40 right so we have that we also we should we should put that disk into subdivision but i found it might be better just if since we're using redshift just put it into redshift object go to geometry override tessellation and and do it here and so let's have a look um, what we have so far so we have that we might as well add the dome light so dome light good we have a dome light and now we go into cloner and start using the step mode. So step mode is really cool into creating these beautiful, beautiful effects. Even this would be enough for me, you know, um, I would say Windows 12 immediately. So we have that and, and that's cool with me and I'm gonna create new material. So we go to Redshift materials, material, and I'm just gonna drag on top of our disk, or maybe even on top of our cloner. I don't think it matters. What do we need to do now? We need the data node. So we go to data, color user data, just plug it inside our diffuse color. And we tell in that color user data node that object geometry ID color gets ID'd. And now every single clone has its own color. How we can use that? Well, we can, for example, plug the ramp node in between it and it will use that ramp across all these clones. So what we can do now, we can really, you know, come up with our own colors. And maybe if I load one of my palettes, it will take 16 days. I don't know why these color palettes take so, so long to, to load. Does anyone know? Could you please tell me how to fix my palettes? Because I just can't believe the colors are that heavy. So while, while we're talking, I'm, I'm creating my own Redshift guide um, because I, when I was learning Redshift, and I'm still learning, I'm, I'm, I'm still very much on the bottom, but uh, I, I found that people don't talk about everything because it, there's so much to talk about. I'm creating a list of everything in Redshift and I'm going to be talking about 
everything. So let me know if that's something that you will be interested in. And I'm sure there's a lot of people interested in uh, stuff like that. Our palette's finally loaded. And my 12 core processor, kind enough. So now we have something like that. And, and that, that's pretty cool. Uh, we can dial it down. We can really make this... Um, and we can increase the noise amount so uh, it will it will very nice the other thing uh, we we can plug this instead of a diffuse scala we can plug this into our overall emission color which will be just can remove it here and then we increase the weight and now we have the well-lit scene. Ha! So stupid. Uh, but yeah, I think uh, these are cool. Um, these are kind of night mode, night mode. And we can we can really dial that cloner, play with the rotations. So I'm just going to put another material on our site just so we it's darker and, and we're just gonna remove the reflection so in the reflection i'm just gonna increase the roughness to full amount and then we also change the color to something i'm just gonna pick something from here or maybe something different something lighter and just make it into, it's just gonna gray values. So it's like almost there, but it's kind of grayish. Okay, enough of that. And now if we go into our material again uh, of our cloner, then we can go to overall and maybe increase that emission weight even more to like four. So it's just get like a nice emission. Uh, we can also go into our post effects in Redshift Render View. There's a little cogwheel, and if you scroll down, you can you can uh, go into Bloom. Just drag that threshold. Maybe reduce the softness. It's not so intensive. You see how we have that nice. Nice bloom effect. So now um, I can come back to our most line. Since we didn't touch it yet, we just changed the angle P. And I can really start, you know, just going crazy on that. Right. And now... That was too much. That's it. That's a really good. The other thing that I did mention, uh, because most spline uh, reacts to forces, you can really just bring in. Um, you can go to simulate forces, and and bringing any of those forces, and the most spline will react to that. So this way, you will achieve more, let's say, natural kind of movements uh if you play with the not the field force um simulate turbulence and if i turn off the ipr just in case since i'm gonna die uh you see it it, it, it looks very <laughs> nice but then you increase the strength or you increase the scale my apologies and you know slow down the frequency and now it behaves like a flower almost flower like it's going a bit too crazy though. And this way we get the, you know, we get that little randomness. Just, we can just play with it. And and, and we, we, we get a little bit of imperfection, I would say. So we have a most spline to play with, you know, twist, we have a band, and then we also can go into cloner. We can increase the count of the clones. 
and they will have their own unique colors because of our color data node. And then we can also, you know, change the step rotation. We can change the rotation and so I think I think it's really interesting just to see different different kind of variation of what is possible, right? Um, you can ruin it pretty quickly because of the there's so many values you can change. You can pretty quickly you know get out of hand and and realize like oh my god how do I get out of this like uh, you know now I'm in a Pringle mode again so it's fine. This is let's make it into something cool. I'm just gonna. Switch off from now on. I'm just gonna stop talking because I'm talking rubbish when I and I just do these things. And I'm just gonna show. You. I'm I'm also gonna include this project file for anyone who wants to grab it on my Gumroad. So see you later. Okay, after all this struggling, this is what I ended up with. It's just sometimes simple is better. I've been literally just struggling with it. So I'm just gonna keep this and this could be my new wallpaper. Oh yeah. I'm just gonna need to center this, so just move it with the cloner. And I'm gonna also show you different techniques. So I'm gonna save this um, project file so you can uh, use it too, you can look over it. And you can play with the settings. Maybe you come up with something better than I did because probably yeah. And I'm gonna show. I'm gonna save incremental of this project. So if you don't use this function, you save incremental, and it will uh, save uh, another name, which is another increment number. So zero 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 three. And um, and I'm gonna show you different extrusion techniques. So instead of uh, Instead of using most spline into cloner, uh, we're gonna use uh, most spline into latte, latte. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, <clears throat> let's have a look what it does. If I just plug it in there, bam. Wow. Well, sometimes, you know, these kind of explorations, they are really worth it because then you're just gonna come up with stuff. So sometimes I just do do just kind of random movements for hours and, and it still creates crazy result. I need to get this most spline out of the latte, but get back to the actually increasing those segments. Because I didn't increase segments uh, for one simple reason and that's because I have already cloner doing the instances of clone, but now when I combine all this, I can create even crazier Wow, this is just unseemly. I'm just gonna save this again. Maybe I just increase that thickness to something like three. And maybe just chill on that. No, maybe let's stay on the nine cloners and let's do segments like seven instead. It's gonna simplify that object a little. And now how I'm gonna make it look. It's gonna, oh my goodness. Okay, I'm saving it here. It's just, this is endless you know i'm saving it here that's it 16 years later oh my goodness okay i just probably leave it for next time because i wanted to show you two more techniques but it's just we took so much time that i will just make another video 